yo what's cracking youtube just joking welcome back to my channel for another gta 5 video and in today's video we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new rebler gts which was released with the casino host dlc and it is 1.1 million dollars so it's going to have to be a fucking fast suv for it to be worth that sort of money and you don't even get any other option no cheaper trade price so it's just choose your color and purchase it for 1.175 million dollars so we are going to grab hold of it, get into LS Customs and see what sort of customizations we can do to this bad boy. So as you pull into LS Customs, you'll see the UB Match Rebler GTS is, like I said before, in the SUVs category. And uh, I never really get excited about SUVs. Um, they're pretty boring, usually pretty ugly. And this being in the UB Match family, I'm... So I'm gonna say it's some sort of BMW. There's no BMW that I've ever seen before, not that I can think of anyway. Uh, but nevertheless, we are gonna crack on with this build and we're gonna start as always with 100% body armor. Then we're gonna go to the brakes and get the race brakes. We're gonna go bumper, front bumper. Loads of options for the bumper, which is nice. But it's not actually changing the bumper, it is just giving us fins and splitters. Fins and splitters. And why the fuck would they do that? No idea. It's an SUV, man. Why would you want a splitter or some sort of canards on an SUV? I'm going to say none for that because I think it makes it look even more ridiculous than what it already does. Then we've got rear bumper. we got the secondary rear bumper. So it's nothing obvious <laughs> at the moment, but I'm assuming when I change the secondary colour, all will, be all will become apparent. Um, then we've got the rear carbon then the plastic rear and why not we'll go go with that <laughs> it's an suv at the end of the day and that engine we've got the level four engine upgrade the exhaust loads of options for exhaust funnily enough and we've got the twin bore the titanium twin and the aluminium twin the oval wow look at the size of those jeez then we get the carbon and the infinite exhaust that actually look quite nice man i like them they actually look really nice and then we've got the carbon versions of them and we are just going to go with the infinity exhausts i like them man they look cool fenders secondary fenders nothing obvious plastic hmm shall i ch carry on with the plastic vibe but then I'm going to have to find something plastic to go on that front bumper. Because otherwise, where it cuts off there on the front bumper, it's going to look very strange. And all the other options are pretty shit, to be honest. What I might do quickly is quickly jump to the front bumper and see if I can get... the. Oh, yeah, man. So you do get the split fins. That's all right. And it doesn't really change the front of that. So if I get these, then I could get the plastic arches. And they might look a little bit better. I th yeah, yeah, that's probably the best option. And then obviously it matches up with the rear bumper. So we're going to go with the split fins for the front. And then we're going to jump back to the fenders. And we're going to get the plastic fenders. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And then it doesn't look like it's a dead stop on the front arch there. So I'm happy with that. Then we've got the grill. Carbon grill. Exposed. But the Uber match grill looks nice, man. Real classy. And then we get a carbon version of it. Not sure about that one. Um, I think the exposed one's actually probably the best. And we're going to get the carbon variant of it. Uh, then what we got next? The hood. So we've got a carbon hood. Looks ridiculous. The inset. The yeah, a carbon hood on this car looks absolutely ridiculous. Why even give us the option to do it? The ridge line and the scooped. The vanity. And the aftermarket. And that's it. This one probably looked the best. The scooped hood. So we're going to go with that bad boy. Then we've got the lights. Headlights. And we're going to get the Xeon headlights. Liveries. That one actually doesn't look too bad. Textures on that though are fucking shocking. Look how pixelated that is. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. What the hell? Smoke screen. Japanese writing on something that's supposed to be a German car. Okay. Um, yeah, all these liveries are a little bit weird. 
that's actually not too bad. That looks quite smart. And coming from someone who doesn't really like liveries, I'm going to go with it. In camo. Why the hell not? Then we've got mirrors. Secondary mirrors and carbon mirrors. We're going to get the carbon mirrors. And then we've got respray. We're going to go primary color, classic. And I'm feeling maybe black. Uh, I think black might be a little bit too dark. So what about if we go down to dark steel? I'm unsure about that livery now though. Don't know why I chose it in the first place. I'm going to go metallic, dark steel for the primary color. And also for the secondary color, metallic, dark steel. Boom. And then we're going to go back to the livery. Get rid of that monstrosity. And that actually looks half decent now. There we go. And we've got the roof. Secondary roof. Carbon roof. Um, nah. I'm going to stay stock for the roof. Then we've got the side skirts. Oh, so this is where we get to choose the black bit, is it? Okay, yeah, there we go. No, carbon. That's a carbon one. Can we not just have a black one? No, it has to be carbon. What the fuck, man? So we're going to go with the carbon aftermarket skirt. So then that brings us on to the spoiler. So we get the ducktail, we get the carbon ducktail, the performance, the secondary performance, the carbon sp performance, and then the competition. See, the competition actually looked quite nice. I like that. It's very um, like Range Rovery, that like a Range Rover sports spoiler. That looks really nice. Then we get the carbon version of it as well. So I thought I'm just going to get the competition spoiler, not the carbon. Or should I get the carbon? No, I'm just going to go competition. Then we've got the suspension. This being an SUV, when we oh it gives it camber. What the fuck? That looks weird as hell, man, on a, on an SUV. Don't do it, guys. Don't do it. I'm going to say stock for the suspension on this car. We've got Vortex Generators next. And I don't... What the fuck? Why is it giving us two thin antennas? Why, what oh, What were they thinking? You don't need two antennas on a car. If you want to give us Vortex Generators, give us Vortex Generators. Don't give us dual fins, antennas. What the fuck? Another lazy move by Rockstar. Just inventing something and scrimping on it. Just give us vortex generators and remove the fin. That's supposed to be an antenna. God damn it. Just grind my gears sometimes, man. Why the fuck just... Why do that? Just do it properly. If, if not, just don't do it at all. Then we've got transmission. Uh, we're going to get the race transmission. Turbo, we're going to get the turbo tuning. For the wheels, um, the wheels on this are actually quite nice. Um, so, let's have a quick look in the SUV category in Chrome. I think these ones actually look better. So we're going to get the Dash VIP in Chrome. And we're going to get the bulletproof tyres whilst we're here. And to finish off the build, we are going to get... Um, I'm going to get the dark smoke window tint on this bad boy. And there we go. Done and done. So as you pull out of LS Customs, you'll see... I have actually transformed the look of this car for the better, in my opinion. I actually think it looks quite nice. At the end of the day, it is an SUV. I'm not a massive fan of SUVs. Uh, but for what it is, I think it actually looks okay. The customizations for it, mm, it's, it's okay. You, you get some nice options, but then you get some ridiculous options, and then you get no options. It's just one of those. It's not, not terrible. It's not great. It's just in the middle. Now, acceleration is really slow. Bear in mind, this is an SUV, so it's not going to be rapid. But there are a couple of quick SUVs in the game. Um... So it does kind of have to compete, especially for the price tag. Yeah, but like I was saying, it is just an SUV. It's not super quick. The handling feels okay. The acceleration is slow as ass. Uh, but yeah, that's about it really. Well, I can't see anyone really buying this for races. I can't really see anyone buying this for car shows. And I can't really see anyone buying this for any reason really. Other than just to have the new SUV in the game. It is pretty boring to be honest. It looks okay. Like I said. Customizations are okay. Handling is okay. It's just an okay vehicle. Uh, but with that being said guys. I think I'm going to end the video there. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did please smash that like button. And if you haven't already. Why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time guys. I'm out. Adios.